Hi there. After discussing about the subatomic particles of the atom, now we're going to go deeper in the history of this atomic structure. So remember the uh, biological organization of life that before organisms become organism, we know that they are composed of system. And system is the group of organs that works together in order to make this organism function. An example is the heart or to say that the system um, for the circulation of the blood, it's the circulatory system. And the main organ for that is the heart. So before it turns out to be this organ, it is the group of what we know as tissue, the cardiac tissue that makes up the heart. And tissue is a group of cells performing their function as in a cardiac muscle. And before it turns out to be a cell, it's a group of molecules. And before it turns out to be molecules, it all started with this atom. So everything here start, all matter start with an atom the basic unit of matter. An atom composed of three subatomic particles, we know it. It's electron, proton, neutron. Electron is a negatively charged particle, proton is the positively charged, and neutron is the um, no charged particle. So in here, in its nucleus, composed of proton and the neutron. So most of the mass of the atom comes from here. And electrons seems to be massless. They move outside the nucleus. So now let's have a little bit of the atomic structure history. The building blocks of matter that makes up everything that exists in our Earth or in our world is atoms. Let's start. Uh, 492 BC to 432 BC was Empedocles. So he divided elements into four air, earth, fire, and water. All the elements. And followed by Aristotle, 384 BC to 322 BC. He proposed four elements also earth, water, fire, and air in different proportion. Next is Democritus, together with Neuspus. Everything is composed of very small bit of matter that is indivisible, and he called it atomos or atom. In 1777 was Antoine Lavoisier. He said that element can be broken down by any method of chemical analysis. Formation of chemical compounds from the elements are, is also being said by Antoine Lavoisier. Idea of Charles uh, Gestini Column, 1780, he explained that like fluids repel and unlike fluids attract. He called it the theory of absolute measurement. 1803, followed by John Dalton, he came up with atomic theory after he gathered all the findings and result. Then, Sir William Crookes constructed the forerunner of the modern television picture tube to investigate the properties of the cathode ray. The one who discovered X-ray is William Rowengen. That was 1896. Observing the fluorescence that is or that it produced. Pierre Curie and Marie Curie in 1898 made this radioactive materials cause the atoms to break down spontaneously and radiation is released in the form of energy and subatomic particles. Now, 1898, 
the one who discovered the electron is John is Joseph John Thomson. Followed by 1900s Max Planck, he said that energy is radiated in small discrete units, which he called the quanta. And then Albert Einstein created the special and general theories of relativity. And he hypothesis the particle of nature or nature of light. Robert Millikan in 1908 to 1917, he formed the basic constituents of the universe, the forces they exert on one another and the results produced by this factor. In 1909, Ernest Rutherford invented a detector for electromagnetic waves. And in 1913, Niels Bohr concluded or made a diagram of the planetary model of the atom. His contributions to quantum mechanics. In 1923, the Broglie said that electrons have a dual nature similar to both particles and waves or wave-particle duality. In 1926, Erwin Schrodinger explained how the electrons move in an atom as a wave. And James Chadwick discovered that inside the nucleus of the atom, there are also neutrons. So how do the atom come together? In Dalton's atomic theory, he called it the solid sphere model. He said that all matter is composed of extremely small, indivisible, indestructible particles, and he called it atoms. And all atoms of each element are exactly alike. When atoms of different elements combine to form a compound, the constituent atoms are always present in the same fixed numerical ratio. And a chemical reaction involves a rearrangement of atoms. No atom is created or destroyed. After John Dalton is the idea of Joseph John Thompson. He called this structure as the raisin bond model. It is spherical and electrons are scattered together with the positive, positively charged particles. So he resembled it to a raisin bond. He conducted an experiment using a vacuum tube. He was able to discover negatively charged particles known as electrons using cathode ray tube. Each end of the tube had an electrode and atoms are solid spheres made up of solid positive mass or core with tiny negative particles embedded in the positive core. Said that atoms are not indivisible. They compose subatomic particles that are electrically charged. And he called it the plum pudding model. Positive is at the middle, while the negative charges are scattered all over the atom. Next is the idea of Ernest Brother Ford. He called it the nuclear model of an atom, that the atom composed of nucleus. He uses a very thin sheet of gold foil to, well, to provide evidence of his discovery. And they focus a stream of an alpha particles. Discovered that most of the particles were able to pass through the foil and only few were deflected. In Niels Bohr, he called it the planetary model of an atom, like this. And he adapted the Planck's theory to Rutherford's model of atoms, suggested that electrons could move around the nucleus without radiating energy, provided that they remained in certain restricted orbits. 
So this is these are the three refinements in Bohr's atom. The introduction of elliptical orbits. Aside from that, allowance for an orbiting motion of electrons, the distance of the orbit, and the consideration of relative, relativistic mass effects. So he come up with this kind of model. So that is for the history of the atomic structure. Hope you learned something from our review today. Thank you and bye-bye.